UniRx, or Reactive Extensions for Unity, is an implementation of .NET Reactive Extensions for Unity. Reactive Extensions, which is also known as ReactiveX, is a widely used API for asynchronous and event-based programming. In order to fully appreciate why ReactiveX is so popular, we should talk a little bit about reactive programming. Imagine buying tickets for the new Star Wars movie. You call up your local theater and ask if they have any seats available. If you've waited to the last minute, they'll probably tell you that they're sold out, but to try again later. So every couple days, or hours if you're a big fan, you give them a call back. You're in complete control over when and how often you call the theater. If we codified this process, we might end up with a mono behavior that has a reference to a ticketing service class. Its update method could check the ticketing service on an interval and take action when Star Wars tickets became available. Generally speaking, this is how we go about addressing logic that depends on asynchronous data or data events in Unity. Just check out this rudimentary player class. Its update method checks input on every frame. When input returns true for mouse button down, it calls weapons fire method and resets a variable that tracks the elapsed time between each shot. This code works just fine, but what if I told you there was a more concise and declarative way to compose this logic? Going back to our movie example, let's say your local theater could put you on a waiting list so that they could tell you when the tickets became available. You no longer have to call the theater every couple of days or hours. Instead, you take a more passive approach, only reacting to the news that your tickets were now available for purchase. We can implement this exact scenario using UniRx and reactive programming, with a class that subscribes to an observable stream of data that's provided by the ticketing service. The result is a declarative, link queue style statement that is much shorter and easier to understand especially once you get to know the UniRx library. This is the style of programming that UniRx facilitates. Reactive programming is programming with observable asynchronous data streams. Data streams are objects that emit data over time, data that your program can react to. To fully understand this paradigm, it's important to remember that everything can be thought of as a data stream. User input, events, data structures, and even variables are all streams of data that your program can observe and react to. Let's use the UniRx library to apply this paradigm to our player class. Currently, player's update method actively checks for mouse down input. In Unity, a mono behavior's update method is actually an event function that's raised by Unity's game loop. As we just learned, in reactive programming, events can be considered data streams. So let's have the player class subscribe to a stream of update events that's provided by UniRx triggers. We only need to subscribe once, so we'll add this code to player's start method. Every time the update stream emits a value, we'll call weapons fire method. But this stream emits way too often. We definitely don't want to fire the weapon on every update. Let's filter this stream so it only emits when the player clicks the left mouse button. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now, we need to take fire rate into account. We can call timestamp on this data stream to transform the values that it emits into timestamps. In plain English, this stream emits a timestamp every time the player clicks their left mouse button. We'll use those timestamps to filter the data stream even further using another where clause. This tells the data stream to only emit values after 250 milliseconds has elapsed since the last click. We'll track this using a variable that we'll reset in our subscribe method. And that's it. Comparing this to our previous implementation, we can see that reactive programming is quite a different paradigm. Like with link queue, you'll have to get used to composing declarative statements like the one we just created. But once you do, this style of code can end up being much easier to read and understand than more traditionally formed logic. While reactive programming may not be useful for every type of application, it definitely does come in handy when you're creating more data and event-centric games. And even if you're completely turned off to the idea of reactive programming, UniRx is a great tool for handling network and asynchronous operations. On some projects, I just use it as a substitute for coroutines. If you'd like to try out UniRx, you can import it right into your project from the Unity Asset Store, or download a copy from the GitHub repository.
If you'd like to learn more about Unity RX, other frameworks, or techniques for becoming a better game programmer, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos. Also, join the conversation right now on our Infallible Code public Discord server.